Hello, hello, and welcome back to my good friend Wild Frost. We're once again on the 1.0.88 beta, and we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. I believe I was Shade Mancers last. I believe that was Shade Mancers. So we're gonna move on to Junk Clan. We have my good friend Woodback, Roth, or Ron Dust, of course. Uh, none of these leap out to me as super interesting, but um, maybe I'll go with. Uh, I'll go with Woodback or Roth here. Maybe we could do something interesting with this. But both of these being on a five turn timer makes me feel kind of sad. Actually, I'm gonna go with Roth. Basically, he's gonna be solid early, and uh, that's all I'm gonna ask of him. I'm gonna go ahead and be uh, go ahead and roll a d6 to determine my continue, as is tradition. We got a six, which is a little gauzy. All right, let's do it. It's a bit of a shame they aren't aligned. Uh, in their counter, but I'm sure it's fine. Probably can't be too greedy with Logazi. My overall health pool is not the highest, but I think we should be just fine. Maybe we'll double. Yeah, this thing is kind of scary. Maybe we'll do this. Um, and then double hit this thing. Sure. And it's okay if this guy takes some damage because he'll heal himself back. I'm just gonna kill this thing and then uh, go from there. Let's see. We don't, uh, maybe I shouldn't take that one damage on Logazi because now I can't block Snowbo's attack here. Yeah, bit of a shame. It's okay though. We'll just let Logazi kill Snowbo or uh, baby Snowbo then, and we're just gonna have no cash after this uh, combat, which is fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, so we'll just, I guess we'll just kill this Snowbo. Ah. Yeah, I wish I would have had this last turn. Because I'm not going to align these two, and Gazi and Rob could have killed at the same time, but this is not the world we live in. And that's okay. I'm just going to drop a jump head down. And we'll just kill this guy, heal up a bit. And I'd like to, ideally I'd like to get to this critical Snowzooka. I'll well, Sun Time Box and then next turn I'll go ahead and Snowzooka this Goblin, keep him around a little bit longer. Since we are since we haven't gotten any combos yet, it's, it'll be good to get some cash here. And it's not a big deal if uh, Winter Worm goes, because I have Junkhead. I wouldn't prefer him to hit. Or I wouldn't prefer Baby Snowbo to also hit, but yeah, it is what it is. We can all we can also flask before we go. I don't know if that's necessary though. Hmm. I guess when Gazi goes again, we'll <laughs> do something. I don't know. Or we could even just combo this turn. Maybe I will do that. Uh, but I could double hit this goblin later, and that's probably what I'll do. I'm just, I just don't want to die. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm concerned about right now. Let's just pretend like we're not going to die, though. And uh, if we do, you know, we'll just restart real quick. We just started, so it shouldn't be a problem. I think I'll let this happen. And then maybe I'll actually just kill this baby snowblow so I, so I can block more with Junkhead later, because it looks like Junkhead's probably going to have to block the Snowman at some point, if I had to guess. And then here what I'll do is I'll just farm more gold on Goblin. I know I'm activating this guy a bit, but I think it'll be okay. So, combo like so. Junkhead can hit, get hit, rather. And then we'll just kill this guy as soon as we can. And perfect. Okay, so we're coming out of this with probably not that much money, right? I, I did hit the Goblin a fair amount, so 63 is okay on Snowbow Squad. I think the Raspberry Charm on the uh, on the Snowbow early in that fight made it uh, made it a bit trickier to, to be greedy, but nevertheless, we move forward. I think I'll go double Traveler, just because I don't think I want to visit this Gnome Traveler. There's just less, less chance of it being a good node, I would say. Bonnie, Mini Mika, and Nam and Stompy. I haven't seen my boy Nam and Stompy in a while. I feel like I want to do that. What if I play Mini Mika though? I also haven't played Mini Mika in a while. We have Logazi boosting its damage. Um, 
I mean, we do need a carry. And Lil Gazi's a big, big fan of Frenzy carries. Let's just do it. Let's play Minimika. It's been a long while. Minimika can, can become a complete menace as well. So we're looking for junk and stuff now. This is not what I'm looking for. As much as I like aimless super snowers with no trash generation, I don't. And I don't think I like either of these either. Let me think if there's any reason to ever take any of this. No. No, there's not. At least not here. I mean, there might be cases where Sunlight Drum is kind of cool, but I don't think it's this case. <laughs> if there is one, it's not this one. Let's just move on and go get a traveler. Okay, we have a Snowed Snuffle, of course. We have Blunky. And we have Krego. Yeah. This isn't the most intriguing of options here. We can maybe grab Blunky in case we end up playing to more towards Blunky. Blunky's pretty solid right now with little Gazi. Definitely increase my damage. We could also take Krego as like a... Uh, he's healthy. So... Maybe I just take Krego and he's there. And maybe I can play around him. I mean, I'm not committed to Mini Mika by any means. I just don't think I need Blunky if I have Mini Mika. Because Krego and Mini Mika are very different carries, where I feel like Blunky. Blunky and Mini Mika are more similar in the sense that they. Mm, I guess that's not entirely true. I was going to say they both attack a lot, but she doesn't actually attack that much. It's just every time she attacks, she kills everything. Whereas this guy, every time he attacks, he kills one thing, typically. I'm going to grab Krego. We might not play around him, but he is healthier. Blunky was probably better for this combat, truth be told. Or maybe that was enough to take Blunky, but whatever. It is what it is. Take a little mini Mika. I think I can go ahead and junk her now, too. I'm wondering if I should let Uber Bear hit me. Yeah, I think I can actually let Uber Bear hit Rock, because Rock can kill him back. Shortly. Yeah. And heal back up. I think that's fine with me. Because he goes before him, right? Yeah. Um. I guess I can take this one. Just start hitting this guy down. And then we'll move on here. It's possible I should have moved on earlier in that, that fight, but that's okay. Or earlier in that turn. So, five. This guy's taking one. Not a big deal. Little Gazi. Little Gazi's nice here. Just a baiting on Mini Mika. If, if I want my Mini Mika to go up or down. I think I'm gonna go up, though. I think I need to get through this squad, especially since this guy has a Moose Charm on the discovery. Seems kind of scary. But let's go ahead and get Krego down. I think I'll get Junkhead down too, because I'd like to start accumulating some junk. Mm, do I want this guy to get frozen or frosted? I think I'll let Krego get frosted here. He cares a little bit less about that. Area. I guess, yeah, this is not the Krego that I had the other day. I'm realizing this guy wants to run away, but I don't know if I can, you know, keep him around forever. I might have to ink this porcupine next turn so it doesn't barrage and kill all my friends. Um, I guess this. Yeah, let's just do this. It's a shame about that goblin, but it is what it is. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason for another guy to take 5 damage here. This thing has a Moose Charm. What? That's terrifying. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. And then before Mini Mika attacks, maybe we can... Uh, maybe we Sun Song Box, actually, so that this is at the nice threshold. Oh, but Uva... Ooh. But Uva Bear's just gonna freeze my Mini Mika. Which I don't want. I don't like that. I could have her beat Snow Gobbler and then hit four into Uber Bear. I don't love that though. Seems like a waste of a, an attack. Is it though? I'm saving myself three damage. I'm not using my Junkhead yet, all the way. 
which seems valuable. Ah, uh, I am realizing I, I probably shouldn't put anyone else below 7 HP though, because this guy hits. It's possible I want to keep her. Or I don't want her to get snowed ever though. Maybe it's if she's gonna get hit. Maybe it's now. What does moving on do for me? Does it do anything? Gets me to snow or aim. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna do this. Take four damage on Mini Mika. Snow Mini Mika might be a very foolish move, but it's what's happened. And we'll move on. We'll probably just gear hammer this into the bear. Although, I'm probably gonna ink this thing. Maybe I'll ink it now. This unlocks my Snowzuka. And then here I can combo... I can kill a Porcupine and combo like this. I guess we'll just send Gazi into the Frosting over here. No need to use the 3 damage gear hammer, I don't think. Yeah, so now this, this thing's barrage, or uh, not barrage. Ah, there's the, an issue though. I could kill this thing. And then the three damage from Gobbler will go into Krego, which is fine. Yeah, that's okay. And importantly, the Snow Gobbler's not getting any bonus attack because Bumbo is iced, or not iced, inked. And I'm just gonna let Minimika go completely crazy when it's her turn to fight. this kill? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Very good. Okay, okay. I think we're looking solid. I have a lot of uh, junk available. I feel like I got pretty lucky on draws that, that combo, but... Alright, so we're still looking for trash generation. We do want to go to this woolly snail. The question is, do we want to visit a charm merchant? The problem is I probably won't be able to buy a charm. I think I'll go up then. I, I could still fill out my uh, companions because I'm not tied to Krego or Minimika and I'm not tied to Gazi either. Even though Gazi's doing pretty decent for me right now. I think Pink Fairy Juice makes a lot of sense defensively. There's not very many defensive options in this clan so seeing a Pink Fairy Juice makes a lot of sense to grab it. Um, okay, we have a Fulby. Fulby seems nice actually here. Yeah, there's our trash generation. There's our source. I could drop Krego or Gazi. I think I'll drop Krego. I think Gazi's providing more to Minimika than, than Krego is. Um, Proto Stomper is also here. I like Proto Stomper here. We like trash. And I like Proto Stomper for, for backline access. We don't have other forms of backline access really outside of Gear Hammers, and that's not really sufficient when there's eight HP backliners. So let's do this. I think Storm Globe would have been fine too. I think Clockwork Bomb would have been okay as well, but Proto Stomper enables a lot of potential synergies. Ooh, Bomb Barrel too. Uh, oh, there's a Forging Stove as well. I can actually get Forging Stove and Crown, can I? Yeah. Maybe this is the way. We forging stove, uh, forging stove our proto stomper with Mini Mika. The issue is we need one, two, three crowns for that, which isn't unreasonable. We are reducing some of our trash generation, but we should have sufficient trash generation with Holby, I would think. The other thought is just bomb barrel. Which is good. Hmm, I, I like the idea of forging stove here though, truth be told. Let's do it. Now what does this first crown go on though? Probably Mini Mika. Yeah, get that train rolling right away in case my first hand is awkward. We shall see. Okay. Probably just drop Fulby down. Maybe it was there's an argument before being stowed first there, but it's okay. I'm gonna start eating gear hammers. Hopefully they go on her. Now I think all of this 
jump just goes straight on the mini me again. Maybe I'll shoot this thing. This guy looks like good now, is that right? Okay, next turn. That's good. So we could do 17 damage this turn. 12 plus 5. I don't think there's any rush though. I think it's probably wiser to just shoot this thing. And I might do this. So Fulby's guaranteed to get hit here by Snowbow. We are taking a lot of damage here, but I think it's for for the cause. Let's do this. Maybe this is starting to get a bit too much trash. Yeah, we'll let Mini Mika block. We have plenty of trash to work with. Now the question is, do we move on? We need to beat this next bamboozle attack. We'll still be able to generate trash in this next hand, and I think we have more important things to hit. We might want a Sun Song box, uh, Mini Mika, to beat Bamboozle's timer here. So I, I could drop a little guys in. Let's see, there's a lot of options. I probably am Sun Song boxing Mini Mika, as weird as that may seem. What's the order then? I'm gonna start with Bogazi. And then maybe I do want some trash actually here. Trash before before this attack. Okay, so six. Six and six. Will I kill Boozle? It'll be close. What are they at? Like 14 HP? When they come out of this? 12? 14? It's one it's a number. It's between zero and infinity, I would think. No, oh, whatever. Let's do this. Yeah, I might just straight up kill whoever comes out here. Okay, it's 16 and 14. Maybe I should have known that. So two damage coming out here. I'm fine with all of this. Four. Maybe I just shoot this thing. We're getting a three combo like this. Yeah, let's just get a three combo like this. We'll heal up our boy too. And then we can freeze Boozle before it uh, goes crazy. And if this guy attacks, we'll just uh, stop him from attacking. Simple as that. We don't want Gazi to die here, though. Yeah, no reason for Gazi to die. So this can get blocked like this. And we'll just prime Mini Mika to kill everything. Yeah, this should be pretty good. Let's not let little Gazi die again, though. Crazy. Are they is anyone attacking with me? Okay, okay. Gazi. So four, six, six, six. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some number of things will die. Presumably five of them. Or four of them. I think all five, right? Or maybe this guy's at one HP. Yeah. That's a gift. Uh, Alright, we have a Hog Crown, a Spark Charm. Spark Charm doesn't seem super interesting this game. Um, Hog Charm could be very solid though. Fulby or Mini Mika wouldn't mind this. Would probably make me feel a lot safer. I should keep in mind I can't Hog Crown and Hog Charm, I don't think. Uh, but that should be fine. I think I'll do this. I could have also gone card draw, 
I think that would have been fine too. I do like the 7 HP you get from this though. And I think I will... Uh, I think I'll put this on Mini Mika. Yeah, I'm assuming I can't put it on here now. Yeah, the reason being is I need these crowns open for Porging Soap and Proto Stomper pretty much as soon as possible. Um, for now, we can do this and maybe I'll just put this on Fulby. I guess it could go on Lil Gazi too. Maybe Lil Gazi's part of the final uh, final squad. Maybe he's not though. I'll put it on Fulby. Fulby's my frontline homie. That's my boy right there, and he's very tanky now. Uh, okay, we have to go up, so I can't visit this, but I didn't have money for it anyway, so. Not the end of the world. Let's get our goop. And visit the muncher. Yeah, muncher's good here. I'll just do... I might do gear hammer deadweight, just because we have forging stove. Although, maybe I'll be able to, like, put a consume. Like a bread charm or something on it. Hmm. I don't know. We can forge and stuff dead weight. I'm just gonna get rid of dead weight. I think maybe a gear hammer is better there, but that's okay. Not too stressed about it. Oh, hello. What a what a stacked chest. Blaze tea, gotcha pumper, and newman biscuit. I'm I'm leaning towards gotcha pumper here. It seems really good. The gotcha pumper is just insane. Newland Biscuit's good. I think Blaze Tea's the least exciting of these right here. I'm just kind of saying something. But Blaze Tea's not always great. Sometimes it, sometimes it's insane though. Especially when you have like smack back and stuff. Anyway, gotcha pumper makes sense. Newland Biscuit would have been fine too. Uh, but I think gotcha pumper is just completely insane. Have a card. Okay. Ooh, what a menace of a Makoko. How is this even legal? This is not okay. Um, what do I do about that? I get full beat block. It's evading on just snow zukuing, but it feels kind of bad. I could also junk gear hammer. Oh, this dude's already like omega ramp by that point though. Maybe I have to ink this thing. Oh, but I want to ink the grumps. So this guy's taking five if I allow this, and then he'll be taking <laughs> more than that next turn. Two, three, and then four, five. That's too much. That is too much. I don't know. I guess I could ink it, take four, and then four again. It doesn't really help me though. This is just rude. But Snowzuka just feels like it's inev or it's uh, delaying the inevitable. Uh, I could go look for Proto Stomper. What if I do this? This. This is weird. I don't know if this is the right way of approaching it. I guess I'm gonna let this guy do some stuff. I don't think Bulby should take much damage after this is the thing. I mean, this is kind of absurd. Maybe I'm just coping though. How is this legal? Four, four. That's too much damage to be taking on my guy. Nine damage? I guess that's just what I have to deal with, though. Whoops. Yeah. I don't know if I re or, uh, recommend all those things I just did, but it is what it is. Move on. I was gonna just go wait for Proto Stomper, was my goal, but. Oh boy. This is not the hand I was expecting to get. For some reason I was pretty confident I was getting a Proto Stomper. That's not the case. So what happens if this guy dies? Yeah. Oh, 
there's another drums with a block on it. Oh, this is so bad, isn't it? It's so, so bad. Colby's gonna die. Yeah, the fact that this guy's aimless too is such a problem. Oh, I need to kill him. <laughs> but there's no guarantee I will survive. 6-7. It's a 13 potential damage, so I can't do this. I'd sure like to, though. I've made a mistake. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to deal with this. I guess we let Fulby... No, this sucks. Because <laughs> he's just going to attack again for a th trillion million damage. And my guy's going to lose all his attack. Oh, this is... Oh, boy. I guess I could do this. And maybe Colby lives. I don't know. And my mini Mika is going to be doing no damage for the rest of the entire game or round. Okay. Wow, my Colby lived by the way. Um. But now they both die, and I go look for my progress. Like, this is horrible. <laughs> this is so bad. But what? If, I mean, what's what to do? Whatever. Let's go let my Colby die and go get this proto stomper. This is a complete disaster. Look like, what? How is this legal? It's fine. Let's just kill this thing. We can take some damage on Rock here. Oh, Big Pella wants to attack too, huh? Like, why? Why are you, Beast? Why are you like this? Ah, oh, it's just gonna attack again, though. This game is rigged. My Mini Mika does no damage. I have to go shoot this thing with something, though. Yeah. Four damage on Mimika. Okay. I feel like I need to shoot this thing. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Or... Okay. The problem is, Mimika's just gonna... Just gonna spice up all of these fellows while doing nothing. But I can't block on Raw. Oh, I think I lose. That's my guess. I shouldn't have. What I shouldn't have done is. I don't know. Should have done something. Yeah, I just feel like it's lost. There's no way I, I kill this King Moko in time. Uh oh. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Yeah, this is a disaster run. Yeah. Disaster! That's okay. <laughs> I had great dreams, and now my dreams are aborted. Okay, I don't. I wonder if I'll just. Re oh, I guess I'll just leave this as this video. That's two deaths in three days, though. That is rare. Maybe I've lost my touch. I don't mind too much, though. We'll just. Uh, we'll leave it at that, and then I'll just probably record another video here. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.